All right, time's now 5.15. Let's get over to Alexandra. Hey, and we are tracking what was Julia. Now it's just the remnants of Julia, but notice that there is some rain. I'll show you with satellite imagery in a second. And there are two spots highlighted from the National Hurricane Center for development right now associated with what was Julia. Of course, Julia was a hurricane when it made landfall in Nicaragua over the weekend, very early Sunday morning. And then it quickly weakened as it moved across Nicaragua and then is sort of hugging the coast of Mexico. Mexico right now in Central America off to the south and west. There is another cluster of showers and storms here around the Bay of Campeche and Yucatan, and this has a chance of developing. Now, this is not a threat for us along the Gulf Coast. Even if it were to develop and models aren't very aggressive with moving this into an organized kind of system, but even if it did, we have a huge cold front coming soon that's going to push all this moisture down. But interestingly, you see this plume of moisture associated with, uh, with it on satellite imagery. This is going to actually help give us some rain tomorrow. It will mean that when the cold front finally moves Moves in, there will be enough of this moisture to help squeeze out a few showers and maybe a couple thunderstorms tomorrow. So we've had these cold fronts moving in lately, but our atmosphere has really just been so dry. We haven't been able to get rain with it like we do sometimes, but this is why partially due to what's left over from Julia, we will get some rain tomorrow. Now, not everyone will get it and not everyone will get a lot, but we do have a chance for rain finally. And I think at least some of us may get up to about a quarter inch or so.